Hello everyone, welcome back! I'm Gaming Quitter, the most excited quitter of them all. We are getting a prize showcase tomorrow and for me, the biggest prize is the future unit Ilya. She's so super cute and honestly, if that's what God looks like, well, sign me up, I'm religious now. In this video, we take a quick look at her kit and then we will just talk about what the prize showcase even is. Ilya is our first 5 star light mana caster unit and our first 5 star unit in a new weapon type at all. Funnily enough, she is a light unit just like the new Joe Alt is. Her kit is really interesting and I'm super excited to try her out if I can get her. Please, I need her. Her whole kit is based around alchemic cartridges, which we will talk about soon. Let's take a look at the kit first. Her first skill, Driver Buster, is her shareable skill with a skill cost of 6. It deals damage to multiple targets and inflicts Flash Burn, which is probably a new inflection for Mana Caster units or it's just a unique thing for Ilya, just like Nobunaga has her own statues that she can inflict on the enemy. I'm sure it's a completely new mechanic though, which is cool if it's unique to Mana Casters. Ilya has a Alchemy Gauge, which is turned into alchemic cartridges when filled. If she uses Drive Buster when she has one of these cartridges, the attack will deal damage to the enemies in a line, inflict flash burn and consume the cartridge. We don't have the mods yet, but I'm pretty sure it will also deal more damage when you use the second version of her skill. Her second skill, Alchemic Enhancement, has a description that's almost as long as your average Yu-Gi-Oh card. This skill gives Ilya the Alchemy Gauge. Alchemy Gauge. Alchemy Gauge. That's what it's called. If Ilya doesn't have any cartridges, the gauge will fill with every standard attack, dodge attack, more about that in a second, and her four strikes. So basically, whenever she goes pew 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 pew, the bar goes up. Once it's filled, it turns into an alchemic cartridge. If the combo count is 30 or higher, the bar fills quicker. Every cartridge lasts for 20 seconds and gives Ilya a unique force strike that uses up all of her currently available cartridges. The more cartridges you consume with the force strike, the more hits it deals. The alchemy gauge effect is basically activated at the beginning of the fight. You can only use her second skill when she has at least one cartridge available and it will then deal damage to the enemies directly ahead and consume one of the cartridges. By Ilya. I'm going to say cartridges over a hundred times in this video, aren't I? Mana casters have a interesting co-ability, which speeds up the rate the mod gauge or overdrive bar decreases by 20%. Making enemies break is quicker like this, but if the co-ability is really worth it is a thing we will have to see in the future. Her chain co-ability gives a little shadow resistance buff once the unit has a combo count of 10 or higher. But let's talk about her abilities now. Her first ability is super interesting as it gives Ilya the ability to attack when she dodges. I wonder if that means we can just roll spam and still hurt the enemy, but I'm sure that's not an optimal way to do things. Her second ability gives her a dual resistance, which is as far as I can remember a thing only Gala units had naturally on arrival up until now. Her third ability increases her critical rate by 30% for 15 seconds whenever a cartridge is consumed. This is awesome because I love doing crits and this means you can probably give her a nice crit focused build and just go pew 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 pew. So in conclusion I think she looks like an extremely fun and unique character. She absolutely has the feel of a Gala character to be honest even though she is not even a limited. And since she's not limited there's no real reason to go crazy once spanner drops in theory, but she's super cute, I love her as a character and I absolutely need her. There's also the fact that this is not a normal summon showcase, but a prize showcase, which means with every summon you do you get a little prize. On every summon you get either a silver prize, a gold prize or a platinum prize. The silver prizes are okay, nothing really special, but when you get a gold prize, oh boy! <laughs> It could either be 3 sunlight stones, or 2 golden keys, or 7 twinkling sand, or, and that's the best one, 2 champion testament. That's nuts. I might even continue summoning even if I have Ilya, just to try and get some golden toilet paper. 
Platinum Prize is also pretty nuts. You can get a full Sunlight Stone, a Damascus Ingot or a Adamantite Ingot. Adamantite. Adamantite Ingot. The, the, the unbinding stuff for Agato weapons. <clears throat> so <laughs> unbinding stuff becomes easier when you when you pull these. So that's pretty pretty amazing. I'm pretty sure the rates for gold and platinum won't be so high, but if you're going to summon for Ilya anyway, or even if you just use the free summons, you can get some amazing stuff. But don't go too wild with your Miramite, because Halloween and Dragon Yule banners are coming soon, shortly followed by New Year's and Valentine's units. The time of limited banners has begun, and it's a hard and difficult time for Wormite stashes. And well, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it helped you understand Ilya better. Tell me in the comments below if you're going to summon for her. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing for more Trigalos content. Also, check out the link in the description and join our Discord to talk about the game and other stuff. I will see you there or in the next video. Bye!